Hey everyone, this is Bikas from Inspon Academy and welcome to another video. In the last video, we created our sample application and we added the required dependency. Now in this video, we're going to talk about UI that we're going to use in our application. And this is not a particularly advanced UI. This is a simple uh, user interface. So as you have seen in the last video, but if you didn't, I'm going to show you one more time. So we have this card view inside that we have one image view and we have these four buttons and these buttons have it, its own uh, functionality and we'll implement that later obviously so let's go ahead and design this this is a pretty simple uh, ui as i said and you can notice that we don't have the toolbar here so first we'll hide the toolbar and after that we'll add all these components so let's go ahead and do that so here we have this hello world and uh let me run this application before uh we're gonna make we're going to go ahead and make any changes just to see what it's going to look like. So, uh, okay. So here we have some problem. It should be small string, obviously. Sorry for that. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay. Let me close this application. So this app is running for the first time, so it's going to take some seconds. Okay, now you can see we have this kitty app and we have this hello world uh, text view. Now we'll go ahead and remove this toolbar as well as we're going to remove this uh, hello world and we'll add other required components. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So to delete the text view, we can just select the text view and click on delete. Now here we have a uh, toolbar, right? So to remove the toolbar, what we can do is we can create our own custom theme here. So I'm going to go to this style in the theme section and paste the same code from these uh, parent theme. And I'm going to name this no action bar. Okay. And here instead of, and here instead of using this dark action bar where I'm going to use no action bar. Okay. So it's going to hide the toolbar from the our activity but to apply this theme to our main activity we need to go to the android manifest here and you can see we have this activity section particularly for our main activity here we'll apply the theme that we have just created okay and now here what i'll do i'll search for the style that i have just created so let me go theme okay so I think uh, it will be easier to copy from here. So I'm just going to copy this name and paste it here style slash the theme name. Okay. Now if I run this, you'll notice that uh, toolbar is gone. Okay. You can see the toolbar is no more visible to us and now we don't have to worry about that. Okay. Let's go ahead and add the car view as well as the image view here first and after that we'll add the buttons and so on so go to the activity main here and we will select the car view so this is the car view drag and drop here fix the constraints you can do that from here as well and make sure these are having 16 dp of margin and right now i'm gonna make it zero at the bottom Okay, and now inside this card view, we're gonna have the um, constant layout because uh, you can directly add the image view as well, but I like using constant view, sorry, constant layout. It will it, it is easier to manage the component that are inside the constant layout. So that is, that is the reason that I use constant layout all, almost always inside the card view, okay? So now we'll add the image view from here okay uh we don't have any sample image right now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna copy one sample image okay so let me go to the desktop and find the right images that i want to use okay so this is the hello kitty image that i have so i'm just gonna copy this image for now and paste it into the drawable directory okay so i'm gonna let the name to be the same as hello kitty here and now we have this image here and 
when I drag and drop the image view here, I can select the Hello Kitty image. Okay. So this is the image that I want to use, obviously. I'm going to give the uh, corner radius of 8 dp and content ele a card elevation of 8 dp as well. Okay. And one more thing that I want to do is in the image view, I will give the ID. Let me give the name as Kitty image or cat image and I will make this image uh, since this image is constant view right image is inside the constant view right so we need to set the constraint and make it zero zero and I will also make a uh, set the skill type here to fit XY for now okay and here you can see it is having the layout with a 409 which I don't want so I'm just gonna make it as a uh, match parent okay so here match parent as well now you can see we have this beautiful image with the corner radius here inside our uh, card view so let me run this and show you guys how it's going to look like fine okay so this is the design that I wanted to have now we'll have the four uh, buttons here and for that four buttons I have the four icons okay so let me go ahead and copy and paste those icons so let me go to the downloads I think I have downloaded those icons here yes and this one this one this one and this one okay so I'm gonna copy this from here and don't worry I'm gonna link the icons in the description as well so you can go ahead and download from the github so if you don't have it just go find the link in the description and download the icon from the github okay so I'm going to paste it here in the drawable and let me re uh, rename this because uh, Android do not support this special character in the image name. So I'm just going to find the rename here. So refactor, rename and this is just info. Okay. Okay. Now let me remove this constant from here for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one linear layout here okay because i want this button to be at the center here that's why i'm going to use the uh, linear layout and this is going to be horizontal linear layout okay so this is going to be just with the card view okay so these are going to be the content of this parent constant layout okay so this is the linear layout we have and this is the card view Okay, so let me give the linear layout. The mass parent is the height, I think. So now inside this linear layout, I'm going to add the floating button. Okay, so floating ac action button. So let me drag and drop here and select the info icon. Okay, so this is the icon that I want. And let me make this wrap content. Sorry, uh, this should be mass parent and with as wrap content so that it's going to wrap the content here and let me fix this constant to the button okay and i will give 24 dp of margin and so on okay and we'll add the layout gravity later anyway so this is the button and I will give the background as a white for the background white for this button. So here in the background tint, I can select the white background like that. And I will make these icons slightly bigger. So to do that, I can go here and find the maximum size property. And I can, I'm going to give the 30 dp of size. Okay, perfect. So this is what I want. And I will add ID for this floating button. So this is info button. Okay. And let me fix this card view constant layout to this uh, linear layout. And we will give 16 dp of margin. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add few more buttons here for other things so info download and we will change the few properties just like how i have done it before 
we will add the few more uh, properties that is image size of 30 dp and one more thing I want to add is this refresh button and we will change the max image size 30 dp and we'll also change the background to white just like that okay and I will give the ID which is required to handle the events on this button later in the application so info but uh, sorry this is download button okay and this is refresh button okay now what I want to do is I want to have all these buttons I want to uh, place this button at the center and I also want this button to have the uh, margin here okay so I will give the margin to each and every button or uh, each and every component inside this uh, linear layout so let me go to the split section and make few changes to our button so let me say select this info here and what I want to do is I will give the margin right of 8 dp okay and I will add the same properties to all of these buttons that we have okay and in the last we don't need to give that property because we already have the uh, required margin between these buttons so let me go to the design now I want this button to stay at the center of this uh, view here so to do that instead of making match parent I will make wrap content okay just like this so that it will uh, stay at the center now let's go here and try to add padding I'm not sure if we can add some padding here so I'm gonna add 5 dp of padding and here uh, let me add few margin to this left and the right of this button so let me select I here and I will also give margin left of 8 dp and here as well margin right of 8 dp okay now it looks fine and now we have this white background right so instead of giving this white generic background I want to give some blur background so I already have image for that so let me find the blur image okay so this is the blur image that I want to use as the background so let me copy this image from here and once again I'm going to link these images in the description so you can download from that so paste here okay now I will change the background of this constant view to do that I can go here and find the background properties select the image and we are done okay so this looks beautiful okay guys so this, so this is the basic layout that we will be working on and this is it for this video and in the next video we will go ahead and implement these buttons handle the events on this button and we will also start extracting the data from our free api that we have used here this is the cat api and we'll extract all this information and retrieve the image in the image view uh, before ending this video i'm just going to run this again just to show you guys how it looks like okay so this is our application right now and in the next video we'll be working on few more features so i will see you in that video